Graceful as a crane, unraveling the simile. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of similes in the English language. Specifically, we'll explore what it means to be graceful as a crane. Understanding similes can greatly enhance your English comprehension and enable you to express thoughts more vividly. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together. Similes are a figure of speech that compare two different things using the words like or as. They are used to make descriptions more emphatic or vivid. For example, saying, as busy as a bee, paints a picture of someone with high energy and constant activity. Similes add color and depth to our conversations and writings, making them an essential part of English language learning. When we say someone or something is graceful as a crane, we're drawing a comparison to the elegance and poise of cranes. Cranes are tall, slender birds known for their smooth and effortless movements, especially during flight or when they're dancing during courtship rituals. By comparing a person or an object to a crane, we highlight qualities of elegance, beauty, and effortless motion. It's a way to commend someone's finesse in physical movement or the elegant design of an object. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase can be used in different contexts. In dance, the ballerina was as graceful as a crane, captivating everyone with her flawless performance. In sports, watching him glide across the field, he was as graceful as a crane, even with the ball at his feet. In design, the new bridge, with its sleek lines and minimalistic design, stood over the river, graceful as a crane. These examples show how the simile can apply to various scenarios, from physical agility to the elegance of architectural designs. I hope this video has shed some light on the beauty and utility of similes in the English language particularly through the phrase, graceful as a crane. Similes enrich our language, allowing us to express thoughts and observations with creativity and precision. Keep practicing your English, and don't hesitate to use similes to make your conversations and writings more engaging. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.